Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. again grade 6 pupils this is me again teacher van van and welcome to our fifth video discussion in learning mathematics for today's video discussion our topic is all about number and number sense identify real life situations that make use of integers but before we proceed to our lesson proper let me read the learning objectives first at the end of the lesson the pupils must be able to identify real life situations that make use of integers, compare the following integers, and apply knowledge of integers in mathematical problems and real-life situations. But before that, what have you learned from our previous video discussion? Alright, thank you pupils. Well, we perform two or more different operations in whole numbers with or without exponents and grouping symbols, whereas we use flat and and the use of illustrations to evaluate the following number expressions given by the real life situational problems all right now let's get into it let's start for you to know more about our previous video discussion now I want to present you this problem in a certain drugstore the pharmacist daughter of the owner helps her mother account the medicines for fever she find specialized square holders of tablets. She has recorded four groups of 10 layers of 10 tablets on each side of the holders and six sets of 10 tablets. Is she right in reporting that there are 40,060 tablets? Why? Let's answer these following questions. What is the profession of the daughter of the drugstore owner? Yes! She is a pharmacist. Now, number two. What does the pharmacist do? All right. The pharmacist do accounting the medicines for fever. Number three. What does she find? Well, she found the specialized square holders of tablets. And number four. If you were the pharmacist, will you also have a systematic arrangement of your medicines why yes of course because it is important that the medicines will be organized so I can recognize what specific medicine is placed what is asked well is she right in reporting that there are 40,060 tablets number two what are given as we can see in the problem four groups of 10 layers of 10 tablets and 6 sets of 10 tablets. Let's proceed to number 3. What is our equation here? Now we have open parenthesis 4 times 10 raised to the power of 4 in close parenthesis plus open parenthesis 6 times 10 and close parenthesis. Whereas 4 is for the 4 groups 10 raised to the power of 4 since there are 10 layers of 10 tablets in 4 groups so 10 raised to the power of 4 now 6 is for the sets and another 10 is the 10 tablets in 6 sets now what is our operation to be used it is multiplication and addition how will we evaluate this all right we evaluate this equation through the use of two operations multiplication and addition right now open parenthesis 
4 times 10 raised to the power 4, close parenthesis, plus open parenthesis, 6 times 10, and close parenthesis. So, we need to evaluate first the first parenthesis there. And inside the parenthesis, we can see that there is a number that has an exponent. So, what number is it? Yes, very good. It's number 10. And our exponent here is 4. So, evaluate 10 raised to the power of 4 to 10,000 since 10 times 10 times 10 times 10. Alright, so we get 10,000. Open parenthesis 4 times 10,000 and close parenthesis and just copy the addition operation then open parenthesis 6 times 10 and close parenthesis. Now, 4 times 10,000. Alright, 4 times 10,000 we have 40,000. Then copy again the addition operation and 6 times 10. 6 times 10 is equals to 60. Now we have 40,000 plus 60. Therefore, our final answer here is 40,060. Alright pupils, let's dig into our topic for today. Numbers play a very vital role in our daily lives. Almost all the things that we do involve the use of numbers in particular and mathematics in general. Whether we like it or not, our life revolves around the numbers from the time we were born. The following are some of the uses of numbers in our daily lives. Using a mobile phone to call a member of a family or a friend. Calculating your daily budget for expenses and savings. Viewing the number of people who liked your post in your social media account. And computing for the time you spent on work and recreation. What are the kind of numbers that you have encountered so far? There are whole numbers such as 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on. There are also fractions and decimals. In our daily life, there are quantities that can be best represented by the numbers other than whole numbers, fractions, or decimals. For example, temperatures below 0 are best represented by a negative number. If there are positive numbers, there are also negative numbers, right? The set of positive and negative numbers including zero is called the set of integers. In this chapter, you will learn what integers are and how to perform the fundamental operations involving them. You will also learn the many applications of integers and how to solve problems involving them. Now, pupils, how does your mother budget your family income? We have here, how much is your family monthly income? How much is your family food allowance? How much is your family electricity bill? How much is your family water bill? And how much is your family savings? Alright, let's say your family's monthly income is 5,000 pesos. For food allowance is 3,000 pesos. For electricity bill is 1,000 pesos. For water bill is 500 pesos and for savings is 500 pesos also. Now, I have here some questions for you. What are negative numbers? Well, negative numbers are those with negative signs and it indicates less value, credit, or decreasing. For example, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, and below, and so on. Now, what are positive numbers? Well, positive numbers are those with positive signs or invisible positive signs and it indicates more value, 
have changed or increasing. For example, 1, 2, 3, and above, and so on. Now, compare your last family food allowance. Is it positive increasing or negative decreasing? For instance, your family's past food allowance is 6,500 because it is your birth month. It means that it decreases 3,500 this month, right? Now, compare your last family electricity bill. Again, is it positive increasing or negative decreasing? Well, for example, your family's electricity bill last month is 1,500 since it's your birth month and your mother prepared lots of desserts. So, it means that it is decreasing this month since there's no event and it decreases 500. Other we have, compare your last family water bill and again, is it positive increasing or negative decreasing? Well, because last month is your birth month, then automatically, there are lots of dishes are washed by water. For instance, your family's water bill last month is 700. Therefore, it decreases 200 this month, since again, there is no events yet. Lastly, compare your last family's savings allowance, and again and again, is it passing? Positive increasing or negative decreasing? We have here, for instance, your mother budgeted 9,000 pesos last month because it is your birth month and there are lots to prepare. Then the food allowance is 6,500 pesos. The electricity bill is 1,500 pesos and the water bill is 700 pesos. Therefore, we need to add 6 1,500 pesos and 1,500 pesos and 700 pesos and that's total of 8,700 pesos and that your family's monthly income last month which is 9,000 is subtracted to all expenses which is 8,700 therefore your family's savings last month is 300 pesos and therefore your family saving allowance increases 200 pesos this month all right well peoples let us identify real life situations that make use of integers so we have here number one gain five points is it positive increasing or negative decreasing all right very good it is positive increasing because the word gain there indicates positive now we write positive five or just we write five number two eight steps backward is it positive increasing or negative decreasing very good it is negative decreasing because the word backward there indicates negative we write negative eight or minus eight number three a loss of 100 pesos is it positive increasing or negative decreasing well 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 amazing it is negative decreasing because the word loose there indicates negative well we write negative 100 or minus 100 number four opposite of positive 10 well what is opposite of positive 10 we write negative 10 and lastly opposite of negative 15 well what is again opposite of negative 15 
Is it positive increasing or negative decreasing? Well, we have the opposite of negative is positive. Then we write positive 15 or just copy number 15. Well, pupils, because you are all very good, now let's test if you really understand this lesson. I have here one question for you to ask. How can we say that real life situations can be represented by integers? Well, I will just give you two minutes to answer this your time starts now for yourselves children now for more understanding about this lesson describe the following set of integers write positive or negative integers we have here five items for set a and i will just give you two minutes to answer this all right now your time starts now
us proceed to set B. Give the opposite of the following. We have here again five items, but I will just give you one minute to answer it. All right, your time starts now. <laughs> six pupils that's it for today's video discussion i hope you have learned something more about this video see you in our next learning episode remember to study your lessons have fun and keep safe thank you for watching and god bless everyone